okay uh, good morning hoping we are fine as a race so here we are to continue from where we ended the other time remember we had started looking at um, locomotion in fish I think that's where we ended whereby we saw that fish locomote using the fins we noted that uh, its locomotion by swimming is brought about by the action of the fins together with muscles that we called the myotome muscles for the fins we said that they are categorized into two we have what we call the median median fins those are the dorsal and the ventral just like we can see from our visual we can see the dorsal fins up and the ventral fins down those are the median fins then it also has other fins called the paired fins the paired fins the pp those are the pelvic and the pectoral why do we call them paired because they are in pairs there are two pelvic fins and there are two pectoral fins but we saw in its locomotion by swimming there is even the caudal fin that keeps on beating side by side side by side in order to generate a propulsive force to move this fish forward however we saw we ended at a point when we said that uh, locomotion or swimming in fish fish experience three instabilities one called yawing another one called rolling and another one called pitching but we said that rolling and yawing are controlled by the median fins that is the dorsal and the ventral fins while pitching is controlled by the pectoral and the pelvic fins now what do we mean when we talk of rolling yawing pitching what do we mean by those now we're saying that we well, let's begin by looking at yawing yawing when we talk of yawing as fish is swimming within the water we may have this head being deflected deflected so your wing is the deflection of the head due to the action of the tail what do we mean assuming this is fish like this in water as it swims to move forward this head may get deflected to one side like that but if it gets deflected to that side it may instead just continue and undergo search that is what we call your wing if the deflection due to the action of the tail pushes the head maybe to my right or to your right like that then the head the fish would do that but remember as it is locomoting that shouldn't be the case because as it moves forward like that it should move like that like that so that it goes forward but due to the instability called yawing due to that deflection from the codofin instead of moving like that it may end up doing that doing that so that it's like that side to side deflection is what we are calling your wing and that would destabilize the fish during locomotion so that instability the deflection of the head resulting from the action of the tail is what we are calling your wing remember fish should locomote without that your wing therefore it should locomote like that but due to that instability it may end up doing that and that will affect its movement so that is what we're calling your wing 
then we have. So when we look at that image, that image is showing us, the one for your wing, it is showing us that the head is getting deflected, deflected, like that. So if it gets deflected, pushed, like that, that side to side, that would make the fish unstable. That is why we are calling it an instability during locomotion. But remember we said yawing is prevented by the dorsal and the ventral fins. The dorsal fin up, the ventral fin down. Then the other instability is pitching. Pitching. Pitching is the tendency of the head to plunge vertically downwards as the fish again moves forward. The head plunges. In other words, what do we mean? If instead of moving like that, normally, as the fish is swimming, the head is pushed down. It plunges down like that. Like that. So in so doing, the fish would do that. And that would destabilize it. So it is supposed to locomote freely, to swim freely. But there is that force that causes it now to have the head pushed down. If this is the head, this side, to have the head pushed down, plunged downwards as it moves. That is what we are calling pitching. The head getting plunged down. Remember, your wing side, that deflection, your wing, pitching down, down, that is pitching, your wing, an instability, pitching, another instability, however, how is pitching controlled, we said pitching is controlled by the pectoral and the paired fins, in other words, the paired the pectoral and the pelvic fins are the ones that control pitching. Remember, your wing is controlled by the dorsal and ventral. Your wing, that deflection. Pitching, pectoral and pelvic fins. Then we have another instability known as rolling. 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 So rolling is the rotation of the fish about its longitudinal axis. What do we mean? Rolling, just like if the fish is swimming like that, it now ends up doing that. Just like you roll on the floor. Instead of moving forward, it may end up rolling. Remember, your wing, your wing, Mm -hmm. Deflection, yawing, pitching, mm -hmm. and then rolling, rolling. This is the head, the front part, eh? the front part, the head of the fish, then the caudal fin is behind, or the tail fin. So as it swims, it faces the three instabilities. They are those instabilities that affect its swimming. And we've talked of your wing, it would do that. Pitching, plunging the head downwards, like that, pushing it down, and then rolling, like that. However, rolling is controlled by the median fins. The median fins. Remember we said median fins, those are the dorsal and ventral. Meaning the median or the dorsal and ventral control both your wing and rolling. While the paired, the pectoral and pelvic, those ones control pitching. Just like we are seeing in those images there, where we have those three instabilities. Once again, of your wing, pitching, pitching, and rolling. So if fish experiences any of those three, then it affects its swimming. 
So those are the instabilities during locomotion, but <clears throat> they are prevented or they are controlled by those fins, just like we have uh, seen, just like we have observed at that point. This now brings us to the end of locomotion in fish. We now come to locomotion in mammals, the last bit of the topic. Remember, we began by looking at um, locomotion in insects. We saw how they locomote. We looked at locomotion in birds. We looked at locomotion in fish. We are now seeing the last bit of this locomotion, and that is locomotion in mammals.